Kelly Slater and Brett Simpson are about to fight it out in heat three of round three. And Slater carrying some injuries into this one. Brett Simpson not happy with his performances throughout 2015 and frustrated and wanting to put on a great show here in Portugal already. Had a strong heat in the opening round. Kelly also looked dangerous. State of mind saying, you know what? I want to rain on everyone else's parade. I'm having a shocker year. I'm, I'm irritated at myself, so I might as well add a little bit of sting to someone else's year. So that's kind of a fun way to look at it as we see a quick start here for Brett just getting hung up in that backwash. Doesn't like the start, now don't blame him, so kick on out. Don't waste your time. Back to live action now, and Simpson on his second ride. Strong first turn, drives off the bottom, finds a nice crumbly lip to play with, and hangs on to a tidy fin waft as he looks for a solid finish on the inside and just kicks his tail one more time. Right on the shoreline. But it's a long shot. He needs De Souza, Fanning, Medina, Felipe to trip up, as Julian Wilson and Owen Wright did in the uh, second round but here goes Kelly on his second effort racing down the line plenty of speed loading up for a big front side air reverse and an awkward landing his front foot stayed on the board there for a moment Ross and uh, well that has led to some pretty big injuries in the past I always I watch the surfer and see how quickly they retain their surfboard and start paddling it's always a sign of if they got injured or not and he looks fine that was a really awkward wipe out there one foot stayed on the deck and the other slipped off. But it looks like he's okay. So, you know, that ramp didn't really cooperate. A lot of crumble on the lip. So he had kind of a sketchy start to that air. Clean pop, though. I love the rotation. But watch as his surfboard lands into the flats. That back foot's going to slip off, if I'm not mistaken. And the front foot stays on. Right there, a lot of compression. There goes the back foot. He did tweak his knee a little bit there, so... It's a good thing Kelly's flexible because right now I don't see any signs of him really wincing or, or you know, any kind of injury. Better for next year. Well, there you go. Congratulations on moving through. Can't wait to see your next round and great surfing. Thanks. Cheers, Strutter. Great to hear from Kolohe, a composed com performance. As we see Brett Simpson throwing everything at it in his heat against Kelly Slater. He's established a decent lead, a 6.67 early. He's backed it up with a 5.6. That last ride will be a throwaway. So here's that 5.6 you're talking about. Left-hander for Brett. Nice little snap there. A little more oomph in that second one. Throwing some spray out the back. And this is the beauty of high tide. See how he has more options. That wave faded back for him. And Kelly Slater now looking for answers. He just basically gives up on that wave because it was shutting down quickly. He needed a bit more room to move. The barrels that are on offer, the, the shape of the bay, the fact that further north it can be a lot smaller in the corner, but we haven't seen it just yet in this contest, hoping for some big conditions as we move through the event window. Kelly Slater up and flying down the line once again. He's going to take to the air, goes the air reverse, lands on his feet, but just gets uh, knocked off by the white water trying to ride out. Just hit that ramp a half a second late and got hung up. So watch his rail as he goes to punt to the air. It's going to get, it's going to catch that lip just a little bit. Right there, you can see. So it wasn't that clean pop that these guys look for so they can project up and out. Because that lip catches the rail right there, he didn't get that pop he was looking for. And, and as a result, he, you know, the rotation wasn't quite there. You can see he's landing within the whitewash. 15 and a half minutes to go, Ross. And, uh, <laughs> Brett Simpson watching his classic. <laughs> Brett watching on. Plenty of people have uh, had that view of Kelly riding out of moves like that. Like a, a super steep wave. He was just riding really high on it, and he just he flew across this face. Well, Kelly is the master of gaining speed, and watch his knees and how he uses the wave. He's going to generate and pump each time, and as he pumps, he really gets that, that board to kind of slide down the transition of the wave. So it's not unlike skating a bowl. You know, you're really using your knees and the, the end of the transition to generate speed. So you kind of pump with the transition, and, and as a result, you can get a ton of drive the wave but Kelly I think uh, Mick Fanning does it too they they ride really high on the wave and really do generate some quick momentum and here he goes again so Kelly really looking for a big turn on the inside here goes for a, a climb up over the roof of that wave doesn't ride out Slater just looking a little desperate out there at the moment 
like fights. If you get someone coming out and jabbing away and getting points on you eventually in the heat, you're, you're going to need a knockout punch at some point. And that's what Kelly's been searching for. As we see Simpson up once again, finding a bit of wall to work with one more time. Has the option to lay down a number of manoeuvres and goes to an air reverse to finish and he rides out. He is focused at the moment on achieving a huge finish here in Portugal. Just over 12 minutes to go. And Kelly now looking to get himself in this heat. Drives off the bottom, gets his board vertical for a moment. Drifts that tail, bashes the lip once again. And a clean foam climb. Easily Slater's best ride as he milks this one right to the shore. Well, there you go. Right when uh, Brett was about to just steal all the thunder in this heat. I love that nice air reverse there from Brett to finish his wave. Kelly found himself, you know, as you mentioned, his best score. Pretty clean left there. Big crowd on offer here now. To see Kelly Slater, to watch some of the big heats unfolding. In round three, here's the replay of Simpson's last rod. Just connecting the dots there. Nice sweeping little hack. But watch how he doesn't dig a rail at all. Nice pop right there. So even though it wasn't a big air, I love that he didn't catch any rails. It was uh, clean as a whistle. Kelly just a little behind on this wave. Nice click to that first turn. But, but here you can see he's poking a lip behind it. So he didn't get out into that clear water where he's really, you know, could have threw, threw a lot of spray. But nonetheless, three, three nice maneuvers, and it'll bring him back into the heat. But who knows, with the, uh, the box as an option over there at Margaret River these days, Kelly could uh, easily take a victory. Well, there's just over eight and a half minutes to go. Slater getting himself back in this heat with a 5.23. Brett Simpson, though, leads. Let's see if Slater can get himself the lead just after the break. Hard to, to find those corners when you're actually out in the lineup, are they just easier to see here from the beach, Ross? A hundred percent. It's very easy to see elevated like this. Well, Kelly does sneak one under Brett Simpson's priority. Drives off the bottom. First turn is strong. An explosive move to get through to the inside and throws it reverse. The techniques look good, but it doesn't stick the move. Looked like he was wincing there. So he's been complaining about his ribs that may have tweaked just a little bit. He looks like he's calling it for this heat. Beautiful first turn. For sure he put a lot of oomph into that first maneuver. I'm not sure if that's what stung in the ribs. And it's just been the story of Kelly's year. It's, uh, it's not like the guy is surfing bad. He's been putting up some of the strongest heat score totals throughout the earlier rounds, but has fallen victim. Out of rhythm at times, Brett Simpson putting together some of his best heats this season and he's on his way to his best finish in a CT event for 2015. He just has, was competing with the, some of that adrenaline that he said has got him through some of these other heats that he's, he's taken on with niggling injuries, but it looked uncomfortable and he certainly seemed to be wincing after his last ride. He was, so it's either his ribs just from applying that pressure and kind of grunting or maybe it was that awkward slip where he kind of flexed his front knee. I will find out from Kelly. It's too bad. We'd like to see him healthy again. The good news for Brett Simpson though is he's on his way to his best finish. And a similar story to Brett's year in 2014. Collected one of his best results here in Portugal. And he'll now match up with Felipe Toledo and Colohe Andino in the first heat of round four. After the break, Nat